Hello, today in this video uh, we are going to start with the new topic, uh, the next topic of sequence and series that is geometric progression. So we'll start with the geometric progression definition. So which sequence is called as GP, that is called as geometric progression. You see here, so in the sequence of the die, is it 2, 4, 8, 16, like this, or we can say Anything is it? 3, 3, 9, 3, 7, like this. This particular sequence are called as geometric progression. Why it is called geometric progression? If you divide this and this, that is 4 upon 2 in this first sequence, 4 upon 2 is always equal to 8 upon 4, is always equal to 16 upon 8. So in general, we can say that Tn plus 1 upon Tn, this all are equal and that is constant. That is, if the ratio of two successive terms is constant, then that particular sequence is called as geometric progression. So, what is the definition of geometric progression? The so geometric progression is Geometric progression is what? Ratio between two successive terms in sequence is constant. The ratio between the two successive terms in the sequence is constant, and that sequence is called as geometric progression. That is, if T1, T2, T3, that is Tn, Tn plus 1, in geometric progression, then T2 upon T1 is equal to T3 upon T2 is equal to T4 upon T3 is equal to Tn plus 1 upon Tn, that is equal to what? Constant, constant means it is a free of n. So when this type of a sequence is there, it is called as a geometric progression. That's very simple here. Yeah? In this, so remember this, this is the definition of geometric progression. So next part, suppose geometric progression is given with the first term as A and R is a common ratio. Suppose A is first term and R is equal to common ratio. If A is a first term and R is a common ratio of any geometric uh, progression, then the sequence becomes A, AR, AR square, AR cube, like this. That means the first term T1 is A, T2 is what? T2 will be AR, T3 is AR square, T4 is what? AR cube. So if you observe this, we can say that the T1 is nothing but AR 1 minus 1. This is T2, T2 is AR 2 minus 1. T3 is nothing but AR 3 minus 1. So, in general, when it comes to Tn, Tn should be what? Ar and minus 1. So that is the nth term in the geometric progression is always given by Tn is equal to Ar and minus 1. So that is the formula where A is first term and R is a common ratio between the two terms. So that is the formula to find out the any term or general term of the geometric progression. Similarly, as a formula, so some of the n term in this is always given by the formula here as in sum of g. N terms, in fact, is the n terms of g here. Yeah. So some of n terms of geometric progression, so consider a plus a r plus AR square like this. Then I'm multiplying this say it is equal to S. It is equal to what? A is equal to this one. AR N minus 1. This is the first equation. Multiply this with R. 
So multiplying this with R, so become R is, but I am not writing here, I am writing here, so that is AR plus AR square plus like that AR n minus y, one more term will become, that is AR raised to n, because you have to multiply R with each term, so A, a to R, so AR, I am writing that here, here multiply, so I am writing here, so that now we subtracting this to, if you subtract this to, what happens? S minus IS is equal to what? A will remain, this is cancel, 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 and this will remain minus AR, N, like this. So if I take A common in this, A is 1 minus R is to N, S 1 minus R, so we can say that A is equal to, so this is the formula here, so S in uh, sum of N term, S is equal to given by A into 1 minus R is to N upon 1 minus R. Now the same, if we take a minus common out of both, we can say A and so this can be same. Both the formulas are same, but we can take a minus common in the numerator, minus common in the denominator, we will get like this. Now, generally we use first formula, that is SN, first formula, this one and this one for two different conditions. This is that when the ratio is greater than 1, so that the negative value will not come. So here it's very simple, where the mod of the ratio is the mod of R is greater than 1, we use this formula R is to n minus 1 upon R minus 1. This is a formula to find out sum of n terms in geometric progression. Similarly, if A plus AR plus AR square is goes to infinity in finite series, then S infinity is always infinity for R greater than 1. But if R is less than 1, if R is less than 1, R raised to n will tend to 0. R raised to n will tend to 0. So we put R raised to n in this, therefore S infinity becomes A upon 1 minus R. So that is a formula to find sum of infinite series in geometric progression. So here, yeah. so these are the formulas here, P and this is S n to find and this is S infinity. So that is an important formula which we have to note down. And then based on this we will start few sums uh, in the first. Yes, yeah, so now uh, next is some exercise 2.1, equation number 2 cut 2. What is given here? A is given as 7 upon 2 body 3, R is equal to 3, what is P6? So P6 you have to calculate. We can actually find Tn first if you want, directly. Tn kya hota hai? Tn ka formula hai A, R, N minus 1 for the geometry progression. So here it is 7 upon 2 body 3, R ka value diya hai this. So this is the formula for Tn. For T6, Put n is equal to 6 in this, so it becomes 7 upon 2, 43, 6 minus 1, like this, so that is p is to 5. So, p 6 is equal to what? 7 upon 2, 43 into 3 raised to 5, so that is 7 upon 2, 43 into 2, 43 is equal to 7. So, what is that? p 6 is equal to 7. So, 6 star in the sequence will be what? 7. That's a very simple one. Similarly, the next question here, yeah, the similar questions are there, so we will not do that. Which term is a 5 raised to 10 here? Yeah. The question number 2. Question 2, the third question here. Yeah. The third question is, which term 5, 25, 125. So what is the 5 raised to 10, 5 raised to 10 term is 5 raised to 10 will be what is a which term? It's clear in this way, E is equal if you observe it, that is question 3, by observation. T1 is 
5 is to 1, P2 is 5 is to 2, T3 is 5 is to 3, because it's 5, this is 25, and this is 125. Clear the observation. And therefore, 5 is to 10 will be what? 10 terms. So answer is very simple. 5 is to 10 will be 10 terms. So that's very easy. There's nothing in this. There's nothing in this. Next. Question number 5 is to prove that. Question. The question number 5 here. So what is question number 5? Of your textbook, question 5. Tn is given, Tn is given as 5 rest to, Tn is 5 rest to, N minus 3 upon 2 rest to N minus 3. This is Tn given. Show that first term and the common ratio. Show that it is GP and find first term and common ratio. So here Tn is given. So whenever there is a Tn given, I will have to prove that it is GP. Remember that you have to do its definition. So what's the definition of Tn? Is Tn plus 1 upon Tn should be always constant. Tn plus 1 upon Tn should be constant. So here we have to find Tn plus 1 and we have to find Tn is already given. And then find the ratio of that too. And if that ratio is constant, constant means it should be free of n. There should not be n present. So that is a definition. So your solution Tn is already given to you, that is 5 is to n minus 3. So Tn plus 1 will be what? 5 is to n plus 1 minus 3. 2 is to n plus 1 minus 3. So it is 5 raised to n minus 2 upon 2 raised to n minus 2. So now Tn plus 1 upon Tn. So what is this? Tn plus 1 upon Tn will be 5 raised to n minus 2 upon 2 raised to n minus 2 upon n minus 3. So like this. So we do nothing but n minus 2 into so so this here 5 raised to n minus 2 minus n plus 3 into 2 raised to n minus 3 minus n plus 2 that is goes up. So this n and get cancelled, so it is 5 raised to plus 1. And here it is into 2 raised to minus 1. So it is clearly Tn plus 1 upon Tn will take pi by 2, which is which is a constant. Therefore, given sequence is in geometric progression. That's true. And this is your common ratio also because that is the ratio of the two consecutive terms Tn plus 1 and Tn. And therefore, here common ratio is R is equal to pi by 2. And for the first term, for the first term, put n equal to 1 in Tn. So that is T1 is equal to 5, 1 minus 3 upon 1 minus 3. That is, give you, it is 5 raised to minus 2 upon 2 raised to minus 2. So that will go up, so become 4, and this will come down. So it is 4 upon 25. So first term is 4 upon 25. And common ratio is ratio is the answer. So here the first term will be 4 upon 25 and the common ratio is 5 by 2. That is the answer. So I think it's very easy. Everybody should understand this one. Next question is also similar to this. So 
not doing. So we know how to do the next part that is with the to define three terms given. Done this argument. Next question, question is Question number 6, the three, find the three numbers in GP such that the sum is 21 Question number 6 Three numbers in G Sum the RA What is the sum is given? The sum is given as 21 and the sum of their square is 189 Sum is 21 and sum of their squares is 189. Find numbers. So that's the question of the state. So find the three numbers in geometric progression such that the sum of the three numbers is 21 and sum of the squares is 189. So whenever there is a GP that you assume, so solution here. Let A by R, A and A R are three numbers. R, three numbers in, these are the three numbers in geometric progression. If we assume that A, R, A by R, A and A R are the three numbers in geometric progression. So as per given rule, as per given condition, what is the condition given here? The sum of this a, a r a a r is given as 21. If I take a this side, so a by r a r is equal to 21. This dividing by a dividing by a is so 1 upon r plus r is equal to 21 minus this. That is the first equation. And next, another condition is given. What is another condition given here? Another condition is given. What is another condition is given? Sum of the squares. Sum of the squares is 189. So this a square is written this side. a square upon r square is 189 minus a square divided by a square. So 1 upon r square plus r square 189 minus a square upon a square is like this. So that is number 2. So now after this What is the value of r plus 1 upon r square? What is r plus 1 upon r square? We know that r plus 1 upon r square is, is equal to r square plus 1 upon r square plus 2. So put the values in this, therefore from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2, this value, r plus 1 upon l, is 21 minus a upon this, the whole square. r square plus 1 upon r square value is what? 189 minus a square upon a square. So here, there is now only one variable. So we can solve this equation easily. We can solve this equation easily. Understood? Because we put this, we use this to for this one. This is the standard formula r square plus 1 upon r square 2r because a square plus b square plus 2ab formula we applied there. So by using that formula we get this one. So now what is this? 21 square is 124. 21 plus 1 is now 10. Uh, 21 square is 441, sorry. This 441 minus 42a plus a square upon a square is equal to a square is multiplied by a upon a square. So a square and a square get cancelled. So it is 
फोर फोर्टी वन माइनस फोर्टी टू ए प्लस ए स्क्वायर वन एटी नाइन दैट इज अन ए स्क्वायर सो अन ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर गेट कैंसर सो इट इज फोर फोर्टी वन माइनस वन एटी नाइन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू ए सो फोर फोर्टी वन माइनस वन एटी नाइन व्हाट इज अ फोर फोर्टी वन माइनस वन एटी नाइन टू 12 minus 9 is 3. So it is uh, 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. Uh, 14 minus 9 is 5. 14 minus 9 is 5. It's 252. 252 into 42. Yes, so it is 252 is equal to 42. Yes, so a is equal to 6 because 6 twos are 12, 2 plus 6 fours are. Ah, so answer is a is should be equal to what? 6. So the question here is you have to find first the term. So put that value in any one of the expression here. So from one. From one, we can say substitute a is equal to six in one. That give you that is seventeen upon six. R square. Fifteen, fifteen at one six. That is nothing but three five sum. Three two is five five two. So it's two r square plus two. Two into this plus two r square plus two is equal to five r. So it's two r square minus five r plus two. So two into four. So it's two r square minus. 4r minus r, 2r common, r minus 2 minus 1 common, r minus 2 equal to 0. So it is 2r minus 1, r minus 2 is equal to 0. So r is equal to what? 1 upon 2. Or r should be equal to 2. So these are the two possibilities. R equal to 1 by 2, or r is equal to Two. So the required terms are the required terms are six upon one by two. Six six into one by two. That is twelve six three or three six twelve like this. So everyone because. Anyone sign? So now we can function the sum as twenty-one and the sum of the square nine thirty-six one forty-four. It is one eighty-nine. So this is the correct answer for this. Understood? So it's very simple. It's very simple. Yes. The next question after that, that is question number say eight or nine. The fifth term of G P S X is given as question nine T five. Is equal to x. So the fifth term of G P is x. Eighth term of G P is y. T eight is y. Eighth term of the G P is y. And eleventh term of G P that is T eleven is z. The question is verify that y square is equal to verify that. Y square is equal to x. This you have to verify. That's the question, yeah. You have to verify that y square is equal to x. So let is first term and r is common ratio. Let a is the first term and r is the common ratio for this. So what is the T five then? So this is yeah. What is T five? T five will be a r less two. Four. So that is the P power. What is T? Eight. 
die in de wie eigenlijk zo zijn, en wat is wie eigenlijk, en is e eigenlijk zo ken, which is given as x, y en z. Now we want to verify this. So now L is this for this is y squared. So y squared is y squared is a r seven plus squared. So it is a squared r is to fourteen. And the right hand side is x into z. So x is a r is to four, and z is a r is to ten. So it's a squared is r is to fourteen. Then I can form this, so combine two, and it is, is equal to R, yes, therefore, Y squared equal to XZ, which is verified. Okay, so it's very easy, right? So it's very easy in this one. So this is very easy to prove. Similarly, there is one more question, question number 10 in this. So question number 10 says, We'll get a question number 10. So in the question number 10, it is given that PQ R is in GP, then you have to prove that P plus Q, Q plus R, R plus S is also in GP. It is given that PQ R is in GP. Then prove that P plus Q, Q plus R. I plus R is in G. P plus Q, Q plus R and R plus N is also in G. So what is exactly meaning, meaning to prove in GP? How to prove it in GP? GP means the, the ratio between the two terms you have this constant. That is a geometric progression to the equation. So here, solution, let R R be the capital, I will take the R capital because the wall is already there. Let capital R be the common ratio for this. Since P, Q, R, S in G, P, therefore P to P nothing, but Q can be written in P base, is that R is written as, and S can be written in this way. Because the difference, the ratio is constant. So we are square upon P is nothing but R. It's upon this is nothing but R. So that is the definition of geometric progression. So by definition of G, we can say that Q is PR, R is PR square, and S is PRQ. Now, to prove that, to prove that, to prove that P plus Q. Q plus R and R plus in GP, we have to prove that, we have to prove that this upon this Q plus R on P plus Q is equal to R plus S upon Q plus R. So this we have to prove. And therefore we can start with the, this level side and then we can easily prove it. So LH is here. So LH is Q plus R upon P plus Q, which is equal to what? Q ka value may be upon PR. So it is PR, R ka value to the PR square. PR is Q is again PR. So it is common in both. If you observe in both, if the PR is common, PR is common, then it is 1 plus. R which is one plus R. Which is the common thing? P. So P is common, so that which is one plus R. One plus R. P P cancels, so that which is this is R. That is the left hand side. Similarly, we can say a right hand side. So right hand side we have R plus S Q plus R. R the value it is P R square and S is P R Q, Q is P R, R is P R square. What is common in the numerator? It is P R square is common, which is the one plus R, which is the common name? P R. So we have the one plus R, one plus R, one plus R cancel, P P one cancel, which is the R. So clearly form this, 
left hand side is equal to right hand side means true Hence proved that is P plus Q, Q plus R, R plus S are in geometric progression. So like this, that's very simple definition. So whatever we discuss now, till now, it is a based on simple definition of geometric progressions. Now we will go to the sum, uh, sum by sum, and that is the sum of the geometric progressions. Now here we will solve the, uh, the question based on the sum in the geometric progression. So similar uh, sum on this. So for exercise, second exercise, that is exercise 2.2, question number 1 here. The question number 1 is 3, 6, 12, 24 is given to you. First, 3, 6, 12, 24. What is Xn? So Xn gamma. So here we are at the first term A is 3 and R is 2. So Xn is, when R is greater than 1, R is greater than 1, the Xn formula is A R minus 1, R is greater than minus 1, R minus 1. So we have to use that simple formula, 3 R is greater than 2, so it is 2 is greater than minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. So answer is 3 into 2 is to n minus 1. So that is the formula for the sum of n terms in this. So it's very easy, there is nothing in this. So this type of sum, just you have to just concentrate on whether it is uh, what is the value of uh, R and then which formula we have to Yes, yeah, so the next sum, next sum is uh, third sum. 0.7 plus 0 0.07, 0 0.007 like this. What is the sum of n terms? Sum of, sum of n terms gamma. So again, it is clear cut from this. So A is 0 0.7. What is the common ratio to divide this? It's 0 0.1. So R is 0 0.1 here, which is 0 0.1. So less than 1. So here the sum of n term is given back. SL is equal to A 1 minus R is 2 and 1 minus R. So we will use this formula in this. So A got value is 0.7 as it is 1 minus 0.1 raised to n. 0.1 raised to n upon 1 minus 0.1. So it is like this. So what is 1 minus to this? It is 1 minus 0.1 is nothing but 0.9. So it is 0.9, so 0.7 upon 0.9. 1 minus 0.1 plus 2 n. Now 0.1 can be written as 1 upon 10. So we can keep the answer like this 7 upon 9, 1 minus 0.1 plus 2 n. So or we can write point one is one point ten like this. So that is also okay. So this is the answer for this sum. Yes, uh, the next question, question number two is A is given as two, R is given as minus two by three. And then what is the sum of a six term in geometric progression? So we use the formula S of N. And here we have to the mod of R, which is two by three less than one. So we will use that formula. So S N is A one minus so according to that, here A is 2, 1 minus R ka value kya hai? Minus 2 by 3 less to 1, 1 minus minus 2 by 3. So minus sign has become plus, so answer is 2 into, this is, we keep as it is, 1 minus minus 2 by 3 less to 10. Here it is, 3 plus 2, that becomes 5 by 3. This will go up, so it is 6 upon 5. It is 6 upon 5 with bracket 1 minus minus 2 by 3 plus 2 n. So, like this, that is the sum of a term. Now, the question is what is sum of 6 terms? So, put n is equal to 6 in this, therefore, it is 6 by 5 by minus 2 by 3 plus 2 6. So what should be the answers? 2 by 3, you have to multiply 6 times. So it is 6 upon 5. 1 minus 2 into 2 into 2, 6 times. That becomes 64. The 64. And this is 3 into 3. 9. 7, 29. 
See what is the calculation of this. It's very simple. You just calculate 729 minus 64. So 6 upon 5, 729 minus 64 upon 729 like this. And then see what is the correct answer for this. So for the important one, you just find the value as uh, in the n and then put the whatever the required value of n as the given question. So that's it, that's the easy one to this. Yes, uh, the next next concept is very simple. I mean, how do you find the sum of this? 9 plus 99 plus 999 in terms. So n terms are there. So in this n terms, how to find some of n terms in this? 9 plus 99 plus 999 like this. So how to find n terms? Sum of n terms? So it's very easy. The 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. This can be written as 100 minus 1. This can be written as 1000 minus 1. So now this 10, 100 and 1000. If you just observe this, 10, 100, 1000. These are in geometry. Progression. 10 hundred thousands are in geometric progression. So we take that in the geometric progression. So that in one bracket, 10 hundred thousand in one bracket like this. And 1, 1, 1, how many times? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is the n times. So n times here. You know, this is n terms. So clearly here, the common ratio is 10. First term is also 10. The sum of this is equal to what? 10 into 10 plus 2 n minus 1, 10 minus 1. And here it is n times, so it is n. So it is 10 upon 9, it is 10 upon 9, 10 plus 2 n minus 1. It's like this, so that's the answer. We can just, if you want, take a common axiom, so we can say it is 10 into 10 plus 2 n minus 1, minus 9 n upon 9. So that's the answer for this type of question. So when this type of question, 9999 is there, we have to solve like this. Or any other number, say 555, to make it in these forms. How? See. See one question based on the textbook. So the textbook question here. So it is given in the text. See in the text question what is given to point. It is a question number five, first one. Question number five, Capella. Three plus thirty-three plus three three three. You are to find the sum of n terms. So what is what to do with that? The question is very simple. So we want we will take a three common in this. If you take a three common in this. What will be this? 1, 11, 1, 1, 1, like this, and terms will be there. 3 is taken as common. Divide by 9, multiply by 9. So this becomes 3 upon 9. 9, 99, 9, 9, 9, like this. And terms. So now this value is nothing but this one. That is, so I can put this as 3 upon n. 10 9, so that becomes 3 upon 81. It's 3 upon 81 with the bracket 10 into 10 plus 2 n minus 1 minus 9 n like this. So so that because of 3, 3, 3, when 3, 3, 3 is there, so this is 5, 5, 5, what happened to this? It becomes 5 upon 81. 6, 6, 6, it becomes 6 upon 81, but this bracket remains as it is. So remember, this is very easy concept in this, but you should know how to do that. That's it. We should know the technique of this. If you know the technique of this, then that becomes a very easy one. Yes, so next question, uh, we go going to the next question is similar to that. Suppose point 0.1, point 0.11, point one one, point one one one, we are to find the sum of n terms. What to do in this case? In this case, again, the same, we will move with the same concept here. Yeah. That is, we make it point 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9
This is 1 minus 0 0.1, this is 1 minus 0 0.01, this become 1 minus 0 0.01, and like this, there is an end bracket. So, end bracket, so if you just look at that, the first 1, 1, 1, n times, and the second bracket, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, n times. The n terms we can say. So, like this. Now, this is clear cut 1 upon 9, 1 upon 1, 1, 1, n time. You give you n, but here it is. It is a GP. So, GP, so the point 1 has a common ratio. The point 1, 1 minus point 1 raised to n upon 1 minus point 1. So, that is 1. Let us have a formula. So using this formula, so it is 1 upon 9 n minus 0 0.1 1 minus 0 0.1 raised to n upon this is point. So that's the answer. We can write this as 1 upon n n minus this is 1 upon 9. So this is the, uh, we can say, the answer in this. So again the same, suppose instead of this, is 0.4. If it is 0.4, 0.4, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44, 0.44